Hey everybody! Hey guys! This is Magilive, we're the Vasquez family, and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the official trailer of DC's The Flash. This movie is like coming out, finally. It's <laughs> yeah. how long have we been waiting? It's been a minute. Uh, so we're here with our first three minute trailer, which is extremely oh long. Um, it's, you know, it's been note. longly, it's been highly anticipated for a while. <laughs> Uh, we don't know where it fits into everything that James Gunn and, and everything they got going on with DCU I mean, now. Three they minutes, they should establish that. Announced yeah. all that. So hopefully yeah. we get some of, yeah. some of an idea. I mean, this movie has been through a lot. There's been a lot going on with this movie between <laughs> the cast and the people involved. Yeah. Um, good and bad. In the DC, yeah. Mar DC universe Man, this changes. movie's packed. So... Yeah. The hope is that this movie is at least good. So we're very excited to jump in, specifically yeah. because Michael Keaton is in this movie. That was a big announcement that they made with this movie. So I think the immediate thing is, you know, what's the script? What's the story? I mean, clearly, you know, how interested was he in it? So there's a lot of questions we have. Hopefully this trailer will answer some of those questions for us. So we're happy that you're here with us, joining us as we see this official trailer of The Flash. Um, let's, let's, let's do this thing. Yeah, let's do this it. thing. Here Michael go. Keaton is back. Oh, the flashing. You can go anywhere. Whoa, his suit is so cool. Another timeline. Another universe. Ooh. Yo! Whoa. Why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. Mm. I'm not mm. going to lose her again. Huh. Hmm. Whoa, the casting is good. Yeah, yeah dude. It what? Like but it can't help reliving. Different Whoa. people, different worlds. Mm. Drawn to I like the music. Magnets. Mm. Oh, oh, no. My face. So my face. <laughs> <laughs> If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, Whoa. I can fix things. You can also destroy everything. Whoa. This can't be happening. Oh, what? 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 broke the universe. Sorry, we've been waiting for you. What? what? I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Oh, well. What? Oh. I just heard oh. his voice. Here we go. <gasps> there he is. Oh, 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 the music. Oh, oh my god, his costume. Say it. I'm Batman. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Listen to oh, that. Oh, Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, dude! No. I can't undo what I did. If I can't get back, Whoa. there will not be a future. Oh, dude! What? Supergirl. What's the play, Batman? What do we do? We try not to die. What? Oh man! <gasps> What? That's her. That's Yo. her. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. <gasps> I'm Barry. We're Barry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. Look. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. <laughs> dude. Oh, oh man. Gosh. There dude. is. What? Flash, yeah. I, flash. I have. I'm what? like in shock right now. This is what. So there was a lot there, a lot more than I expected. Uh, like yeah. in terms of story. I mean, General Zod's back. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> I mean, they, they, dude, they did that. What, dude? I think we need to like clean slate our brains and just kind of <sighs> like that's what's hard. I think <laughs> that's kind of hard for me to like forget everything we've seen and kind of. Start There's over. just so much there. <laughs> well, because obviously, because he's so fast, he goes into diff the different like universes, I guess. Right. But that also, what? because it, I also saw a part of the Army of Man of Steel with that alien thing that was the teleformer. Flipping things up and yeah, up and former. down. Ter but, yeah. That 
That. Boom, mm-hmm. boom, mm-hmm. That thing? Yeah, that yeah. thing. Um, so, then obviously, General Zod is back. Does that mean they're going to also... Do they have any plans for a new Superman? And if so, will they reveal who they cast in this movie? I mean, he was... I mean, uh, I, this is an actress for General I think Zod Super, is incredible. Think, um, was that the actress um, we knew was going to be super good? Yes. Yes. yes, yes she's yes, the Colombian okay. actress, right? Yeah. Colombian actress. I don't know her name. Oh, really? Yeah, I think she's Colombian. So, Viva Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. It's, it's interesting because this movie, I think, when it was first, when it first started being made, DC was in a really interesting spot with how it was going to move forward. Um, so, it's interesting how I'm sure the story has been, re- you know, how they have adjusted things. Um, but there's clearly some character-driven elements that have not changed, I imagine. Like, why if the Flash decides to stay? You know, you have a character that can jump through different multiverses because of how fast he is. You have a character that can do that. So, that's the kind of character that takes us into the multiverse, which I think is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, Out of the Snyder Cut and the Flash was, I mean, he was, uh, besides Cyborg, like the heart of the whole story. Um, So, you know, Ezra Miller, and they've said it, Ezra Miller is is a very talented actor. and, and, And what they're bringing to this performance to the flash to this flash <laughs> he's performing with himself yeah like yeah. that that is really impressive yeah. like to be able to perform with yourself like all of that is just it's crazy yeah. so i can't see yeah. I, I can't i'm very curious to see how this story plays out um of course we saw ben affleck as well as, as batman there's just clearly a lot of you know what exactly happens that makes the meta humans disappear so there's just a lot that we will have to find out and, and then see <sighs> what is going to affect the, the DCU moving forward is this you know is Ezra Miller gonna be our Flash moving forward um there could be more than one Flash I mean clearly they're setting up the multiverse so I know James Gunn and the DC lineup DCU lineup said how this is one of the best superhero movies he's ever seen comic book movie superheroes he's ever seen so wow. you know you hope that he's say. right if he's saying that yeah. you, you would hope that it's it's good so I mean they, again it's one of the longest trailers I've I've seen in a bit so I mean it was it was a good lengthy I so. think it's also, I think it's necessary for them to do that because because they're doing something so new and they're doing all these like mm-hmm. new takes on these stories. I think they kind of need to reveal what this is all about before you show up to the theater and you're just like, where did that come from? And how is this person? Like, what do you mean? I think our brains need that yeah. um, to kind of get an idea of what's coming. Yeah. Well, and, so. uh, and the other interesting question to your point is, you know, being like reminded right but then also like what brings this batman back i mean one the music the music was oh man listen i'm not a like okay i'm not as a hardcore fan of dc as other people but i got butterflies yeah because that took me back that's our like, childhood that, that is our, childhood. our batman the costume the, his voice even like when his voice came up first like before they showed him Man, that was like nostalgia <laughs> to the max. Like I got butterflies. I even got emotional. Yeah. Um, you too. Yeah. <laughs> I, did. I did. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. He oh, is looks... like, like to to be able to see him because I mean I've I've seen the the original Batman movie, and that I mean, and the the Batcave is like identical. Like it's right. It's identical, Batcave. but it's. It's enhanced, and like the way that he's able to fly around, and like it, you know, it's just really cool. There was a magic to you know what it looked like before, but um, yeah, but, but you know, being able to, to see that the 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 way the movies are made now to um, the way that the movie was made um, when it was made, um, just kind of is very very cool. And I've never seen before. I don't know if we if I've missed it, but I love how they show you the comics that you could refer to and read. Oh, that was well, interesting. Well, that, that was actually something that um, James Gunn was talking like talking about. Or, like, when, when they were revealing new stuff for, for DC, they were showing pictures of, like, comic book stuff and how they're going to try... I mean, it seems like they're going to try to guide people into the comic books because that's the source material. That's so And great. that, like, yeah. it, that's just... It's very important to do that because that's, that's where it came from. It's kind of like, you know, the Harry Potter movies and watching and reading Read the, the books, book, yeah. you know, it's kind of yeah. like that too. I, I Same with Percy it, Jackson. I wonder if it's a way for them to mm. say, look, we are following the stories the way they were intended. We're not gonna, you know, do all these crazy other things and put in our own little layers of what we think is best. I mm. don't know. Maybe it's just a way to show that they're truly, you know, staying true to what the purpose of these stories were. Yeah. Um, but I, I think DC, it's awesome. DC is really cool, man. Their, their comics, their characters. Yeah. I mean, Supergirl 
<laughs> that that was dude. That's oh, what a great that's reveal. so exciting. Yeah, yeah. all of it. And that's the only, honestly, the only DC comic that I read <laughs> um, of Supergirl. So yeah. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Yeah, how that, exciting so. is that? Yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff. A lot of questions, of course. Like I'm very curious. Like I'm very interested to see how, uh, you know, the two flashes, how they meet mm -hmm. um, this Batman. Like what is, how is that, you know, and, and all of that. And again. I wonder how long this movie is going to be because it looks like a lot's going to happen. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have not felt this excited about a super. I mean, you go back, just go back to some of our reactions in yeah. the last like two, three months. Yeah. I have not, we've not seen a reaction for superhero stuff where I'm jumping up and down. It's just the, the like you guys said, the, the music. music for the Batman. Yeah. Hearing Michael stream, Keaton you know? say, I'm the Batman was bonkers. <laughs> that, that just like, I just became 10 again. It was yeah. wonderful. Um, I have a couple things that I, I, I did see about The Flash, played by Ezra Miller, with with his suit. I, I, this suit, I, I don't know, remind me if it's the same one he had in Justice League. Very different. It looks uh, but very different. This looks like it's shattered, like he's cracked, like he's very... very Fractured it, and fragmented. Right, fragmented, like it's hold, trying to hold itself together. And it, that already visually really is extremely appealing, because he's, he's struggling to hold it together. Um, and he, he's going back in time to try to change the yeah. ultimate you know tragedy and it it just like the little bit we do know about the flash from the tv show because i never read the comics but we do we do know that he created chaos timeline chaos because yeah. of his desperate need to try to save mom and it looks like once again he's always been um, a very interesting character oh yeah in that yeah. sense he's he really you know he's kind of like our lack of a better term he's he's like our spider-man he's in our peter universe, parker in yeah. this universe where he's young and, and he's had such a great loss and he has such great power you know it it really is going to be quite quite fascinating i will admit there is seeing the the terraform uh, machine thing from zod I, i'm still sad henry kevel's out I, i'll yeah. say it I'm, I'm not thrilled about that decision but you know in, in james gunn we trust i guess um <laughs> i don't know it does it doesn't make sense to me i i, I guess they must have something well because much... they even brought back zod too so yeah I, I don't i don't understand that um i'm kind of hoping it's like a psych henry's back but i don't know i, I don't know it's gonna I, be I mean, it's gonna I would be, be interested to... to see if there's because there you know there's there's other actors out there that you know I'm, I'm very curious to see if they could play a superman you know i, I know henry Cravel did a great job um, if, if anybody, you know, can play a, a Superman, come on, <laughs> see, you got it. He's right behind me. That's but hilarious. He's Colombian too. Right. Um, <laughs> but, like that, Colombian you know, duo. That, that is hilarious. hilarious. I think my dad is the like Columbia a Superman, Kintonians. James Gunn. Oh yes. man. Come on. But, you know what? Jose for Superman. <laughs> I think, I think it's a great choice, um, but yeah. I, I, you, I do <laughs> think that That's they're awesome. setting up a better, like, like I mean, it's interesting because they could be setting something up, but this also could be very much a standalone thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. James Gunn yeah. wasn't... He said this was one of the best comic movies he's seen. He didn't say it's part of the, what he has planned. So, um, again, I'm very curious to see just this movie as as its own thing. Yeah. What kind of stories they're going to tell? Because I think that's that's what you can sometimes fall into, what you were saying in our uh, reaction to the, the new trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, that there's... Sometimes with these comic book movies, when you try to tell a, a continuous, you know, it's all in one universe, sometimes there's too much of a dependency on the movie that's coming up next. Like, what's next? And putting too much dependency on, on like, the overall story and, and forgetting sometimes, like, the character, the character journey within a specific, you know, point in, in time. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm most excited, excited to see. Because, again, Barry Allen, The Flash... It's been always been a very interesting character for me, and the way Ezra Miller's portrayed Barry Allen, I, I've just loved. I love yeah, the way yeah, I, yeah, Ezra yeah. Miller's yeah. fantastic. Like you said, yeah. the casting, even with the younger uh, Barry Allen and all that, it's just right. there's a lot of a lot of a lot of good a lot of good green flags I'm seeing, and um, that the ge the, the yeah, general so, Zod actor coming back. Yeah, is, like, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know who else could play I, General Zod. I remember Zod. when great. we watched the Flash show, how heart wrenching that that whole concept mm -hmm. is of your mom dies tragically and then you're able to go back in time and possibly just change things to make that a different reality and how hard that was for him to have to make that decision as a young kid with these powers it's like you know how do you give that up again it's almost right. like you're seeing her die again mm -hmm. so to see them retell that story and to see it from his 
his mm. perspective of not his perspective but his rendition of mm. the flash yeah i'm looking forward to that i think that's what was kind of missing from the, the past times we've seen the flash like i'm excited to see his origin story right. and to see what continues because he's he's awesome i mean we've never gotten a flash movie before no no no, no this that's is really, really exciting cool. I, I also like and look yeah. on one final note on kryptonians i'm all about um <laughs> seeing kara's story come to to light and oh, yeah. I, I have a feeling you know she's probably in as supergirl i don't i don't i really i'm gonna i'm gonna be very upset if if we absolutely fall in love with her as supergirl and she's just fantastic and then they change her on us i don't know how smart that would be and then it's like i uh, just don't know yeah but it, it seems like a but, great but again great like, way to introduce her it's interesting because there's a theme with dc oftentimes where there's like if you look at batman there's so many different batman it's different versions of batman and it, it brings a different layer to the same character so yeah that's what i mean is if supergirl is the only hope for barry allen this batman and this supergirl then maybe that's the story and, and we get to meet them. And you're right. I mean, it would be great to see more of them, but I guess we'll just have to, we'll have to see it as time tells. I mean, yeah. I, I think it, you're right to make it less confusing for people. Ideally, you kind of, yeah. you know, but, yeah. but again, I think what makes it kind of, eh, it's hard to know is, is the state in which this movie was created, written. And now when it's finally being finished and, and, and released, it's, it's, it's been a long time. And, and especially in the midst of a lot of, a lot of management changes right. with, with the whole studios, not just like, you know, mm. a movie here or there. So it's very interesting. Uh, the, the, the future of the DC is is very unknown, but also very exciting, I think. Yeah, very, um, very bright. Future's so, looking yeah. bright for DC. Yeah. We'll see, man. But that was that was our reaction to the official trailer of The Flash. If you want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments as to what you thought of this trailer, uh, what you feel about this movie, what you're excited to see, what you're maybe skeptical about, but you just want to hear all of it. We'd yeah. love to hear your thoughts and connect with all of you in the comments. So just uh, chat with us down below. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, we'll try to get back to you guys and connect with all of you guys there. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining us. If you guys want to see more Magilive content, you guys can check out the link in the description or the card above where you'll see exclusive Magilive content as well as have access to uncut reactions to TV shows and movies. Right now, we're slowly getting into that. Our first TV show uncut reaction series that we're doing is to HBO's The Last of Us. So we're releasing our uncut uh, reactions as each new episode comes out. And then we'll release an edited reaction series once the whole seasons come out so that's our first time that we're experimenting with it we're going to do some more movies and stuff so if you want to be along for that ride and watch alongside us to your favorite movies and tv shows mm -hmm. uh just check that out but regardless you being here today means a lot to us so thank you mm -hmm. and go out there spread your light and have a magical day mm -hmm. bye, bye.